Hello, this is Mike. And if you have a saltwater pool, it's imperative. What did I say? I said imperative that you make sure you have the correct water salinity in your pool. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to test that very easily. And it's a simple, simple, repeatable process. So let's do it. All right, so when should you test your water salinity levels? So whenever you backwash, or maybe you open your pool and you removed a bunch of water and you had to add a bunch more water back, that means you probably diluted the amount of salt in there. So we need to test it. Another way to know you need salt for your pool or you should check it is if your salt cell has some kind of indicator on there. Mine has an indicator if the salt is low and here it is. So to test the water, you have two ways. You can either use strips, just like the strips you use to test your pool water chemistry. They make strips to test the pool water salinity. Now, I don't recommend those because they're for about 10 of them, it costs around 10 bucks or about a dollar a test. And if you have to test multiple times within a day, eh, it's going to get real expensive. So what I suggest is a digital salinity meter. I have one. I'll show it to you. And I'll also put a link down below. You can grab these on Amazon for 25 bucks. It's a nice repeatable way. And it's probably the most economical way, especially if, a pool, if you have a saltwater pool to test. Okay, so how do we use this fancy dancy salt salinity monitor? I know. It's probably really complicated. Wrong. Get yourself a cup, dunk it into water, leave about an inch, inch and a half of water on the bottom of the cup, take the meter, turn it on, and just throw it in there. It's going to have a, re a digital output. It's going to tell you exactly the amount of salt that's in there. Um, in this case, it's around 2,500 to about 3,000 uh, parts per million, and that's what you're kind of looking at. I need to get mine up to about 36 hundred parts per million so what i expect to see here is something like three six zero because it reads in tens okay so now you have your reading what now most likely you're going to have to add salt so to know how much salt you need to add you basically just have to look at the back of the bag and add the amount of salt that it says it's actually very simple let's say you have a ten thousand gallon pool and your current reading is a thousand you need to add about six bags to get you to the ideal amount of salt in your pool well mike i have too much salt in my water well unfortunately what you need to do there is you need to drain your pool down a little bit and just dilute the water you just need to add more water yeah uh, that's going to be a little bit tougher but that's all that's basically what you need to do you just need to dilute the water real simple all right, so now your salt level in your pool is perfect. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please smash that like button. Please crush that subscription button. And I'm Mike from Family DIY TV. I put a link down below to this actual digital meter that you can pick up on Amazon for about 25 to 30 bucks. Um, and I'm out.